everyone and welcome to the next in our series of Daily Origami for YouTube. Today we're going to continue with our theme of making traditional items and we're going to make another kind of fun sort of uh, classic toy for kids that you see a lot of people make here. It's actually a boat and then you can also just do a little quick sucheroo and it becomes a sort of like snapping monster face which is kind of cool. So uh, this particular origami tends to work better when you use a piece of paper that's rectangular in shape. A standard printer paper, letter size paper, Paper, US letter size paper, A4 paper, all those, they all work really great. So I'm going to make mine um, just regular 15 on one side and then 3 fourths on the other side. It's going to be 11.25 centimeters. And uh, you just need one sheet. I'll let you guys know the dimensions when we're done so that you know how big it's going to be. It winds up being kind of small, so you're better off if you make something kind of big. Start off with big paper and then it kind of turns out even better. Um, I have my regular square paper if this is what you have to start. I just want to eliminate a little bit on the side, so I'm just going to kind of put a little crease here to kind of mark where my center is and then fold one of my edges into that. And then that's just the little bit that I'm going to cut off here before we start. And that's giving me the uh, 15 by 11.25. The nice thing with this origami is that you don't need to have a specific size paper. Really any kind of rectangular shape works pretty good. You do just need to make sure it's rectangular because it gives you a little tab on the ends to lock things up at the sides. So I've got my sort of rectangular paper here now. And what I want to do is starting with a uh, color side facing up, I'm going to go ahead and fold my paper in half. And then I'm going to fold it in half this way as well. I'm just going to go ahead and keep things folded in half like so. You want to make sure you've got the white side on the outside. It kind of makes things turn out a little better when we're done. So I've got everything here. And if I take these top edges and fold down, the key to this, if you've got the paper right, is you should have this little bar of extra down here after you fold down here. We'll fold both sides down. You should have a little bit of something extra down here. And how much doesn't really matter. We just need to make sure we have a little bit there so that we can take the uh, layer that you see on the top and fold straight up snug to that edge. Flip it over and do the same thing on this side too so that we've kind of gotten a way to lock things down in the front with these two flaps. So you've got both of those sides folded up. Then we're going to open up from the middle here. And as we open, I want to smoosh things down. Now you're going to notice as you pull open these two parts here and you kind of sh uh, swivel it around to fold down the other way, these two little flaps are going to be in the way. Just choose which one, tuck one inside the other. doesn't really matter if it's left or right. Just get those both folded down so that we get something that looks like this. And I'm going to take this top layer and fold it straight up to my tip so that I can get this extended out and it should make a nice crease right out to the points on either side. Turn it over, do the same thing on this side too. Get it folded all the way up there. Now I'm going to do another collapsing by opening everything up here in the middle again and just smooshing the sides towards each other so that we can get it to fold down into the middle again. Then as a little last, but we're going to do the step one more time. I'm going to take these little sides and fold straight up. And this does get small as you go. Turn it around and fold the side up here too. This one's really heavy. It's got a lot of layers of paper. So make sure you try to get it as smooth and as straight from edge to edge as you can. Get a good crease. You should have a nice little triangle now. And if you open up from the triangle just a little, you have these two flaps that you see here. You can pull these out and open to reveal a nice little trapezoid here. And that gives you your boat. And you should have nice little, you could smooth that edge over so that you get a nice band of orange color on the sides. And your little sail there in the middle, which gives you a cute little boat when you're finished. And then the um, other thing you can do is you can collapse it to make it into a little kind of snapping monster toy. Let me tell you the dimensions of the boat really quick just before we do that though. So if we look at how big this boat is, we can go ahead and just measure from side to side here. It's about 11 centimeters wide. 
or long I should say, and stands about not quite three, so about 2.75 centimeters tall. And that's just for the boat to kind of give you an idea. Now the last little bit, if you are interested in smashing him down and making him into a little snapping toy, what you could do is take the sail part and tuck it under one of these two bands of color that you see here. It doesn't matter which one, just choose a side, get him to be tucked away in there. And then you can just put a little bit of pressure from the top and allow the center part to be pushed back and then you can get this kind of diamond shaped sort of um, snapper. And even these little flaps that you see here kind of stick out a little to be kind of like signs of teeth. But if you just put a little bit of pressure on each point at the top and bottom, you get a little snapping toy. Ah, so kind of a cool little guy. <laughs> but that's just sort of a little variation then of this particular project. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time.